Hey, I was just working with uh, my good buddy Rick. On, we do online lessons, and uh, he's got a new book that uh, we're running through a little bit. Uh, it's called Minor Pentatonic Soloing Connections. And uh, we were having fun with that. Who wrote this? Joseph Alexander, Fundamental Changes. What company is it? Fundamental Changes. All right, again, that's Minor Pentatonic Soloing Connections. And we're just having a good old time running through like five patterns of the G minor pentatonic scale. And Rick said he would like, his goal is to be able to uh, play the whole neck on G minor pentatonic. And I thought that was great. So what we want to maybe, uh, well, I just said when I was learning, you know, like A minor pentatonic. I knew to go... I, you know, I was staying in there, and I remember an older guy, an older kid, he's like 17, he came over and he was like doing the, I'm like, wait a minute, that's not in this, that's not in the pattern that I know, you can go outside of that, and I was like, so he ended up, he added a B, which is on the uh, third string, fourth fret. And uh, that made me just start exploring outside of that. And I made an analogy, like if you live in a, if you're building a, a cabin and then you add like a little office down there, like this is your, your living space. And then you just added like a, an office. So we want to make this our whole mansion, our whole living space where we can you know, our huge layout. We want to full have full run of our property here. And so that was one little breakout I got. You know, it turns out that was a ninth interval. And I was telling Rick, hey man, another one is the the, the suggestion I would make is like here's here's our root, add this like G. G to A. So there's another way to break out of that pattern, but let's move it back down to G, like Rick is doing. So that's an easy, you know, you're adding a low note to your pattern. That's, it's not, it's, plus it's powerful, it's like. That's an important note for rock and roll. And then Rick said, oh yeah, I got that. And he went like, he went. I'm like, holy smokes, good. And he, so he busted out this extra closet up this way. You know, if I'm thinking it's an analogy of a cabin or something. So he went up to eighth fret. C note on the first string. So now we got one note lower, one note higher. And we can keep working our way up and out of that basic pentatonic pattern. And you can do it on, you know, second string, which would be like three, eight, ten. That's a D. F, G. That's a way to break out of the pattern. And on the third string, that would be like a three, five, seven, B flat, C, D. And on the fourth string, you could go That'd be uh, eighth fret, B flat. On the fourth string. Fifth string. That's like a C, D, F, which is eighth fret, fifth string. And sixth string. You could work it up to a C. 
Now our pattern's getting bigger, like. Now our pattern's that big versus that big. And so, you know, one, one little bit at a time, learn it your own way, but if you can break out of that pattern, Mm, you know, like I say, at your own speed without, you don't have to do it all in one sitting, but just start finding notes outside of those pentatonic patterns. Eventually, we'll cover the whole neck. So maybe we'll, uh, we'll have more uh, videos on the G minor pentatonic scale here coming up. If you like that, I hope you do, and uh, thank you so much.